Okay, time for another update with some more jigs and machinery. The cylinder sleeve uh, still hasn't arrived. Uh, it should be here tomorrow or Saturday, maybe, we'll see. So I've moved on to the head. What I've done is uh, stuck in the big four jaw truck, uh, chuck. I faced off some plate to make sure it's dead flat to the chuck. And I made up some spacer sleeves or tubes to take care of, um, to make sure this is all nice and flat. These are uh, dowel pins, which are uh, nine mil, because that's what these are drilled out to on the head from original. It's just eight mil um, nuts on the back or front and 10 mil onto the plate. Then I've had uh, some silver steel, which is 5.5 mil. This is ground flat, so it's um, like a reference steel or a reference uh, bar. So that's enabled me to DTI this head centrally, and um, that's where we are with it. So now what I can do is look at taking out, cutting out that sleeve. I'll do the other one as well. This is my um, trial head that I'm just mucking about with. It's original to the JCB. I've just used this as doing the various little bits and pieces, like for instance, getting a feel for the casting, see how clean it was for when I did the welding. And just uh, like this sort of thing, really, just setting up, ready for the new head. I'll do um, some uh, shrouding around there as well, um, and see how, uh, just see how well it machines, really. Um, so this is how it's being done in the lathe. Okay, so here we are. This is after a little bit of machining. Uh, with these little baby boring bar. Um, the seat is all nicely cut out. That wasn't any problem at all, actually. I was expecting it to be a bit of a sod, but metal's fine. And I've also shrouded around the valve, just to give me an idea of if you can really see it. But uh, remember, this is the 22cc head, it's the uh, GX200. I'll be mucking about with the GX160. I'm trying to get this as smooth as possible. Uh, this is cut at 15 degrees, which seems to work quite well. Um, what it will, what I'll do is I'll actually machine this. Um, when it's got the big valves in it, I'll do this so it's, you can't feel the step. I also had to play around with three step, uh, so 45, 30, and a 60. Again, no problems at all. Because all I can, all I have to do is literally just turn this to where I want to go. So. 0, 45, 60, and then the 30. Works out fine. Um, so I'll do the new head. This is the new head, uh, 18 pound uh, delivered. Um, unfortunately, I can see where the price cuts have been made. Um, this is taking about three quarters an hour to actually true up in the lathe, get it uh, correct. But I've had to use feeder gauges to stand it off slightly. There's another one there. And if I get this, if you look at the seat, you see that it's not. Hopefully that comes across. It doesn't seem to be very straight. Now either the seat is straight and the valve guide is not or the valve guide is straight and the seat is not. Now, I've used the silver steel, oh, sorry, I've used the silver steel and trued it up on that and it seems like, unfortunately, the valve guide is not dead straight. Yeah. Just makes my life a little bit harder, that's all. It's pretty ready because um, my scrap head was absolutely spot on. Anyway, now to grind out the seats.